Hello there ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Zatnan and in this video today I want to do a demonstration of a piece of software that I have been working on. Now this piece of software, at least on my computer, is known as fast encryption, but I prefer to call it uh, multi-threaded file encryption. Now, multi-threaded file encryption has advantages over single-threaded file encryption because, well, it's just flat out faster and it uses more of the actual CPU. Now, a brief lesson on, you know, of course, uh, multi-core processors. Basically, a couple years down the line, uh, I believe that's uh, 2008 and 2004, Intel and a whole bunch of other companies decided to pursue multi-core processors. What that basically means is that most modern computer microprocessors, I mean, almost all of them, run basically in blocks. They have lots and lots of different modules inside of them. Your microprocessor on your computer or your CPU isn't simply one big unit. In order to take advantage of a microprocessor's power, like to gain full access to it, you need to explicitly multi-thread. And what that means is that you need to break workloads up so that you can make use of the entirety of the computer's microprocessor. It's easiest to think of multi-core processors as just being completely different CPUs. Just think of it as if you have eight CPUs on your computer and that unless you tell the program to do otherwise, it will only use one of them. What my program does is that it reads a file 100 megabytes at a time. And what it does, you know, at every 100 megabytes is that it breaks them into about eight different pieces and then, of course, encrypts those eight different pieces on separate threads. And then the result gets sent back and then written to a file. That's basically what this program is. However, it does have quite a bit of code to back all of that up. It, of course, um, totals 335 lines just for the... Um, it totals 335. Uh, 35 lines just for uh, the part that actually reads the file and splits it. I will go through and um, comment more of this code later on down the line. However, if you have a basic understanding of C++, it should be really rather simple to understand. And I do encourage people to re read this code if they are learning C++. And in fact, this entire video exists so that people who are learning C++ can, of course, um, look through and uh, try to understand some of the things that I've done so that they have an easier time, you know, solving certain problems if they do decide to end up learning a programming language. Either way, I reckon that we ought to demonstrate how this works. Now, do keep in mind that this software can run a lot faster, but of course I'm reading and writing data to a hard drive which will sub significantly slow down, you know, and basically um, reduce how much uh, of the CPU can actually be used. So enter my key twice. Yes, I know the console interface sucks. And you enter the mode which is encryption. In and out. I have also made a few adjustments um, so that you don't actually end up flooding your RAM. Even when you're working with big files, you see it's probably not going to go too much over, say, for example, 400k. And it's clear we're done. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was my file encryption program. It uses Crypto++. It's pretty simple to build if you have Visual Studio 2015. You just click on this file and it's done. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to check out my software. And maybe if this video receives a decent number of views... Um, like a viewership comparable to the ones that I've uh, seen previously, then I'll certainly make another video on multi-threaded file encryption and possibly even on RSA, or maybe on other things. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. See ya.